people, welcome to another video with your girl, Siobhan. As you can see, I'm in a different room that I have not shown before, or in a while, I guess. But <laughs> before we hop into that, I wanna thank y'all so, so much for joining me for another video, for taking time out of your busy day, for being just kind and sweet. I truly appreciate y'all. So if you are a lifetime loyal and angel, welcome back. And, or if you are new, I hope you will consider subscribing to the channel. Anyway, I'm gonna show you around the room. I did start in here, I didn't record, but the only thing I did was patch holes that was in the room. So you didn't miss much. But now I'm about to get to sanding and finish patching and I wanna bring y'all along and let's go through and get some of this done. Actually at the door of Ayana's old room. So right here we have a closet, which is a very nice size. And let me back up there. I'm going to paint the closet. I have to change out the light switches. Of course, the walls are going to get painted, the fireplace, all this good stuff. Anyway, as you can see on the walls, I know the lighting is kind of bright, but the white spots is where I did the patchwork for the holes. And then we have some over there and we have a ton over here. But we do have some of Ayana's stuff, of course, still in here that I need to move out. We have this stuff. The bed is going to stay in here, the full bed. I did just buy a new twin bed. That'll go in the other room, which is right on the opposite side of this door. Um, we have some of her clothes that need to go. And then we have, give me a second, sweet pea. We have some bins back there that is hers as well that will go as well. And then we're going to just start getting the room together. The bed will be moving, it won't be staying in this spot. Um, again, the first thing I need to do is sand the wall over here so that I can move the dresser out the way and then patch up this wall some more. So let's get to that. So beautiful people, I went to Home Depot and I had to pick up a few things to make my life a little easier. So I got some masks for when I sand and these are just the N95 respirator masks. You get three in a pack. I got the uh, Wooster, the shorthand, this is for painting of course. And then I got this flexible three inch um, trout tool. I don't know what it's called. This is for the... Uh, for adding the stuff on the walls. And then I got this five in one tool right here. I had one of these before, I don't know what happened to it, but it's really good. So it's a five in one paint tool, but there's so many things you can do with it. I got me some frog tape, and then I got some 120 grit sandpaper, some 80 grit sandpaper, I got the two-in-one caulk finishing because I do need to caulk a few things. We got the painter's acrylic latex caulk. I want to make sure that I did get paintable caulk. And this is the Quicksil Ultra silicone um, sealant. This is going for the kitchen around the sink. I got a caulk gun and I got some super glue that um, it's for one of my little knickknacks that need to be glued back together basically that has nothing to do with the room so this of course and this has nothing to do with the room but this is the stuff that i picked up so i am going to sand the walls and there are a few spots that i still need to add the plaster to so i want to make sure that i get that done um but for example like over here this white that was already done right in here that was they did that before we moved in, um, but I did, and the line, the crack was super duper duper small, but I wanted to just make sure that when I painted, you couldn't see it, so that is why I did that. But I do have a few spots like this crack right here I wanna get, and that crack up there, I'm oh, sorry, up there I wanna get, 
but just a few spots. So this is where we're going to cock over here. See this here? So what you wanna do, first thing, so that we don't get it all over the place. You wanna make sure that we do it exactly where we wanna put the cock at. Okay. And then we're gonna still, um, I don't know if we need to cock or if we want to fill it with that filler. What filler? This. I might just cock it, it might be easier. Yeah, because it's, and it's paintable cock, so it's fine. But the caulking looks ugly. No, it's not, you know, the foam one that we put Yeah, this is not foam cock. This is not, yeah, I didn't know. I should have just did that at the other house, but it's okay. You look what you want. Ugh. After I get done sanding and painting, then I'm gonna give it a good clean as far as like scrubbing the floors and all of that. You're scrubbing the floors? Yes. Talking, Mom. I want to uh -huh. do it. Uh-huh. In a second. No, I don't want to go. Stop. Stop. There you go. See it? Okay, no, you don't. Oh, so it's white? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Stupid gnats. Why are you so white? Mm -hmm. So 
So before I started sanding the walls, I wanted to caulk all of the spaces that I felt needed that extra, you know, the caulking in there. You know, when you, it makes things look so much more cleaner and together. So I caulked, of course, the fire, the fireplace, a little bit of the wall by the door and so forth, and also by the window sills, caulked all of that. Then I'm going to sand the walls. And what I used was spackle. And it's actually pink and when you put it on the wall once it dries it turns white so that you know that it's ready to be sanded after you sand it down which you can do it with a hand sand uh, block like a, a block sander I have that or you can do it with an electric sander which is what I have right here it's called a circular sander I have this got it from Home Depot or Lowe's I think it might have been like 30 $35. I might have got it off of Amazon, but like I said, you can get it from Home Depot, Lowe's, Amazon for like $30, $35. Super easy. It's just less work than a hand sander. But as you can see, I definitely recommend the mask and I should have had some goggles on as well because the dust goes everywhere. And that's why people, a lot of people tape off rooms and so forth when they're doing these type of projects. I just kept the door closed. After this, before you paint, you want to wipe off the wall so that you can get all of the dust off the walls so that you can have a smooth finish, which is what I did as well. But this only took a, this didn't take long at all. I don't know, maybe a, maybe an hour to go around the whole entire room sanding and all of that. Um, but yeah, I like the way that it turned out. And I definitely recommend the hand sander. Again, if you don't have to do the entire room, then a block sander is perfectly fine. I can tell that this was a teenager's room because all of the little holes were like nails and push pins and stuff like that. Like maybe they had a ton of stuff on their walls, like maybe posters or pictures or something like that. It's a nice size. It can definitely be a master bedroom. A queen bed can fit in there very nicely with a dresser, maybe a chair and so forth. I would love to get her like an egg chair to go in there and Hmm, I'm debating if I want to get her a new desk. What else? There's a few things. The room, like I said, is a very nice size. Ayana really did not want to give up that room, but she spends the majority of her time now in college. And when she comes home, she'll only be home a couple weeks at a, at a time, basically. So, you know, gotta, we gotta make do. So anyway, I'm going to finish getting this room together and again with sanding and then I'll start to paint and I did end up going back to Home Depot because Home Depot is closer I would prefer to go to Lowe's it's a little further out but Home Depot is closer so I went back to Home Depot I bought a higher end paint because I was trying to get the one coat it still didn't cover up the blue so I'm actually waiting on the walls to dry and I'm gonna go and do a third this is either my third or fourth coat of paint one two three this is going to be my fourth coat of paint on the walls to get that blue to go away ridiculous too much work this i'm telling you guys painting is a lot of work i will also talk about the paint stick that i'm using in this video um or i will say that the paint stick is i don't know if i could recommend it guys I, I really don't i've been using it because i bought it but once you put the paint in there it is extremely heavy it's really heavy it it drips um huh. i don't know i just i it, it the heaviness of it is my arms are so sore it's a good arm workout but 
my arms are really really sore especially trying to paint the ceiling and everything I don't know I, I and I you got to fill it up so is it really saving you time I don't I don't know I don't know if I could recommend it I really don't I really don't know if I could recommend it it's really heavy and it's awkward when you're trying to paint because of the long plunger when you pull the paint out it makes the pole longer but it's not like you can extend it because if you hold on to that plunger part at the back the back the black part you can break it and then you can't plunge anymore you can't pull any more paint in there you'll see that in a moment but yes i definitely don't know if i could recommend it it's it it's just more work than it's worth So I sanded all of the spots that I needed to sand. I did put some more, um, what is it, the spackling up here. I did some over here, but all the rest is completely sanded, so that's good. I have to, you see there's a lot of cleanup, so I'm not worried about these curtains. We have new curtains coming, and yeah. So I got to let that dry. It is about, oh, it's nine o'clock at night. So again, nice and smooth. I didn't even need that 120, which is good. So I ain't gonna worry about it. I did caulk some of the places. I wanna caulk over here too. See, they used to have carpet, but I'm gonna clean this really well. And I'm gonna caulk over here tomorrow. Just want to make sure that I get all of that. Let me show you a little closer. Like down here, I want to cock all of this. I'm going to paint all of this. Ayana was having the, uh, what are they called? They're like Japanese beetles that was coming through here. I did have a, um, a pest control come and spray, but she wanted to just tape this off because, you know. So I am going to have the pest control people come and spray again just to be on the safe set, make sure everything is gone again but because I am going to paint over this as well. Everything, so the hardwood floors are original to the house, but they had carpet. So that's why you see the gap in the floor, which just needs some, um, what is it called? It's not corner molding. It's, a, it's like a, a small piece of trim that goes along here. So I will try and see if I can get that trim. I know I can get the trim from Home Depot. It's just a matter of cutting it and putting it in myself, which should be easy. I'm gonna end up um, having to buy like a, um, 
what is it called? A nail gun. Over here, I'm gonna have to have someone, see that? Now the vent is working fine, vent is fine, but I'm gonna have to have someone come and try to patch that, like to make that better. I don't know, sorry guys. There we go. What to do with that, I have no clue, I'm not, that's not my area of expertise. But when I first looked at the house, over here, in this little area right here was, there was a leak that had happened and they patched the wall and everything, but I guess it messed with the floor. So again, let me go back out. This is how the room is looking. I get pretty nice size closet. She could fit all her shoes, clothes. The closet is pretty decent. Um, it's just a matter of now I need to paint. I do need to get a new light fixture to go up there and then have somebody install that. I'm gonna let this dry. I'm probably gonna start painting tomorrow. Not probably, I am going to start painting tomorrow and go from, from there. I'm going to patch all of the holes. I'm going to move the curtains out further. I'm thinking about putting, you'll just have to see, but I'm thinking about doing this as an accent wall over here. Because when you open the door to the room, this is the windows and right here is the first thing that you kind of see. So I think that would be nice. Um, we're not going to put the bed in front of the window. We're not going to do that. Although that would make sense, but we're going to put the bed probably over here and have the TV mounted right here. So anyway, I'm done for today. So this is day two of the project. Day two. First day was putting all the spackling up and second day is sanding it and then fixing some last little bit of spots. And yeah, day three, I'm going to start painting. Girl. Are you ready? You've been staring since I came in. I know you wanna get to know me. Uh -huh. But honestly, I came with my girls, wanna dance by ourselves. Can't you tell? Baby, baby, I have thick skin. Yeah. I don't let things get to me. But do you want me to spell it out for you right now? I'm not feeling your vibe. Crystal clear that your head over heels, but don't come any closer, my dear. Get mad, I cannot control what might happen You think you can Put your hands on my body I'm no damsel in distress no. Come too close, I might just lose it I'll knock you down like boom Boom, 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 boom I'll knock you down like boom Boom, 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 boom I'll knock you down like boom This is the Wagner Paint Stick Easy Roller. I got this from Lowe's. I'm hoping that I know how to use it. It says paint an eight by 10 wall and one fill. So I'm actually gonna paint the ceiling and the walls, but we'll see. So I'm taking everything out of the box. It was extremely easy to set up. It did take a moment to pull the paint up, which I'll show you in a moment. 
but whenever before you start painting always take your painters tape go around your roller to pull off any lint now this was a little linty i should have did it twice to be honest with you but definitely go around your roller with the paint tape so that you can pull up any lint so this is a little black filler you stick that in the paint you're going to connect the top and lock it in super easy you stick the plunger in there now the plunger is in the back right behind the yellow and i'm sorry that it's out of frame but you're going to pull the paint up into now you see what i'm doing right here yeah it takes a minute for it to go in but I am going to get it to go in, of course, and you're going to pull it. It's like a plunger, basically. You're going to pull it up through the, through the pipe, basically. And the extender, that makes it long and awkward and heavy. So I would say that I'm carrying around about a good eight pounds or maybe more. I wish I could put it on a scale and weigh it, but it feels like it's like eight to 10 pounds of weight that I'm carrying around so it's very heavy and awkward it does I mean I don't know it's just it's totally up to you I think it was like $40 from Lowe's like $40 so not too bad but I am going to order London a light I was going to get her a a boho hmm like a boho light fixture but I actually want to put a ceiling fan in the room so I'm going to get her, I'm going to order a ceiling fan. That's the best way I can do it. I'm also going to order a ceiling fan for the other room. I need little Chris a new ceiling fan. I need to order three all together. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is pay somebody to teach me how to put them in. I know I can look on YouTube and everything, but that makes me so nervous when, I'm, when we're doing um, electricity. Only because I've taught and I've been involved in several um, OSHA trainings at work. And I've heard so many horror stories about electrical. And so it scares me. I'm being honest with you. I mean, we all have our, our things. So yeah, electricity, that scares me. So anyway, I'm going to continue to paint. I did put two coats of paint on the ceiling. So this is the first coat with the paint that I had already had. I did go back to Home Depot and get, again, that one coat paint. It's by the PPG Dynasty brand. It still didn't do the one coat. I don't know. And yeah, so I believe I put two to three coats of paint on the ceiling. But as you can see, like the white is, I wanted it to just be nice, white and crisp. That's what she wanted for her room. So that's what I'm trying to give her. It's so cute that London keeps, you'll see her pop in and she's just super excited. She's like, okay, so you're painting the ceiling. Do you want me to help you? Do you want me to, and I'm like, no, it's okay. You know, I'm painting the ceiling. It's okay. I'll, I'll, once I get this done, but she's just super excited. Like, what can I do? What else can I do? I'm like, there's really nothing else you could do right now. I mean, she could paint the walls, but and you'll see uh, i did have her and kinsley came in and wanted to help and there was a spill of paint on the wall <laughs> i mean on the floor uh kinsley had paint i don't know if i showed y'all but literally her two entire hands were covered in paint um so i don't know guys i did let them help me i didn't say anything about it but of course they did make a good old mess <laughs> make a good old mess but I did let them help me but I'm like no I got it it's okay um, it's just you know easier to get it done I did let London use this paint roller she said it was heavy of course Kinsley said it was heavy uh, but yeah they did help but of course they made a mess as well Everything being safe again, 
a friend of me. No. Baby, you mean more to me. More to me. You are not a friend of me. No. Baby, you mean more to me. More to me. Keep us safe. Baby, you keep me. You're not a friend of me, no. Baby, you mean more to me, more to me. You are not a friend of me, no. Baby, you mean more to me, more to me. You are not a friend of me, no. Baby, you mean more to me, more to me. You are not a friend of me. So <laughs> this is like day two, day three. I think this is day three of me working on this bedroom. I did put on the same clothes again because I was painting um, and, you know, just didn't want to keep messing up clothes as I'm trying to paint. But anyway, again, this paintbrush is so heavy. It's so heavy. Oh my gosh. But it does the job. It does the job. It's definitely going to give your arms a workout definitely but I do want to paint the bedroom door to my right I am going to paint that the closet is going to get painted London actually wanted to start painting that which she did you'll see that momentarily I'm going to cover up this second door so you won't see that door curtains are going to go there anyway <laughs> anyway um, yeah I'm just looking forward to getting this bedroom done really excited about it but it's just a lot of work you know a lot of work I did have someone come and give me another quote on painting the bedroom and they wanted $800 for the bedroom and I was like I'm not paying $800 to have this room painted I'm not doing it I'm not doing it am, am I wrong I feel like $800 is way too much money to have a room painted I don't know I'm just not with it so anyway I'm just gonna take my couple days and keep doing it a little bit at a time until I get it done that's the plan but yeah, painting and stuff is so expensive. Wow, I didn't know. That, got, that could be a really good business. So you're looking to start a business and you like painting, I say go for it. Start your painting business. Because wow, they're, mm -mm, I'm not doing that. That's too much. Something doesn't feel the same You said that I'm changing But it's really you I see how you play those games Wifey type for a main man A queen can make moves A king can yeah, yeah. Snatch you up Now you take it Gave you bricks Now you build it Wall up Wall up Lately you and I've been all love All love I don't know what's up with our love Our love You forgetting all about us About us Oh My 
my jolie, oh my jolie. Where are you when I need you the most? You still am my This is murder, heart is melting, girl, you got me. Called your bluff and made you something, now you're talking. Telling me to cool it off, cool it off. How can I cool it off, cool it off? Telling me to cool it off, cool it off. How can I cool it off? So here we have Miss London who is painting the closet door and I will be showing you in another video because I'm working on this one right now but in another video I am going to show you the closet. We actually do plan on going downstairs today. We're going to clean it. She's going to organize her clothes and that'll you know start that process. But I am definitely going to show you that. Again it is a very nice size closet so she's happy about that. And I like that her room is a nice size so that she can feel comfortable with bringing her friends over. I want our house to be the house where the kids can come over and feel comfortable and be safe. And, you know, I know what's going on. So I want that room to be nice so that she can invite all her friends over and they can laugh, kiki ki and all that good stuff right here in my house. <laughs> that is the plan. So that's why I'm going to get this together for her and make her feel nice and comfortable. So do you have, do you feel that way? Do you prefer your kids like go over to their friend's house or do you want your house to be the friend hangout house? I want my house to be the friend hangout house. I want the kids to be over. I want my nieces and nephews. I want, you know, I don't, I ain't gonna say I don't drink. I might have a glass of wine or something very sparingly. I don't smoke or anything like that. I don't have any, uh, you know, any weapons or anything like that in the home. So I want this to be the, the hangout house. Shoot. So beautiful people, this is the end of the video for part one. I will definitely, I've been recording, recording, recording. So the videos are going to be coming out. I'm trying to get this done as quickly as possible. So the video should be, the bedroom should be done soon. You know, I might have to wait on a few things here and there, but the video should be, the room should be done soon. But I do want to thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for joining me. I hope y'all are having an awesome day. And I love y'all to the moon and back. I'm very, very, very appreciative of you all so, so much. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.